All right, in this video, we are going to be talking about checklists. Now, checklists are an amazing thing because right now, they're very, very big. And people love checklists, primarily because people like to be able to see that they're making progress. And when they finish the checklist, it gives them a feeling of accomplishment. Now you can turn this into a product because you can create a checklist for every video that you create. And by having these checklists compiled together in one product, you can actually have, say for example, 20 different checklists and sell that as a front end product or even a back end product. You can sell it as a product and you can make it that people can you know, use purchase that as an actual product all of its own. Now, the other day I created a YouTube video and I could have gone through the various steps. Now, if you like what we're talking about right now, if you could uh, leave us a, a like and subscribe, press the bell icon and also leave us a comment. If you could answer this question, if you were to create a checklist, what sort of checklist would you create? Now, let's have a look at how to do this. Let's go to Microsoft Office Word. We're going to click on that, open this up. Now that'll bring us to this page right here. Now what you need to do is go over here to where it says more templates and we click on that. And then we scroll down here to where it says search for online templates. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to type in the, type in the word checklist and hit enter. And this gives me a whole list of lists. Ha ha ha. A list of lists. Um, so you can make a choice of the different kinds of lists there are. You can have a quick look by doing a single click and having a look at the type of checklists they have here. And yeah, you can go along and you may or may not like the ones that you see here. I personally like the one I already have, so I'm going to go back. And the one I already have is this one here. So I'm going to double click on that. And there it is. Now this is completely editable and it is really, really easy to do. Now let's go, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to click on the actual box itself. So as it's one single solid line, and then I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit the fill button right here. Now over here, I can change this color to any color I want. I'm going to go there and make that a nice dark color. So as you can see, that has gone from bright orange to this color here. Now if I wanted to, I can also, of course, change that to match it. And another thing I can do if I wanted to, I can also add a header. And now if you have any kind of header image that you would like to put up there, you can add that to it as well. Now let's say, for example, you created a single YouTube video on something and you want to create a, a checklist on that. All you have to do, like the other day I created a video, a how-to video on how to create a YouTube channel, a basic one. So say for example here, step one would be create a Gmail account. So then you'd go through the various steps on how to create a Gmail account. Then over here you'd say uh, create a video. Then you would you know, go through the various different various things that you'd need to be able to create a video. And over here you go ups, upload a video to YouTube. Then you go through and talk about how you go about uploading a video to YouTube. Then over here it might be something like creating a catchy headline. And then you talk about the various things on how to create a catchy headline. And over here it might be uh, what to put in the description box. And then you put the various things in there as well about that. And it might be something like, you know, SEOing or adding, you know, end of screen tags and things uh, things like that. There's a whole bunch of things like this you can add. Anyhow, you can just put it down and that can be just one, product, one, one checklist that you've created. Now, if you have an entire course, as I said, of 20 or 30 videos, you can compile that into one bundle and sell that as a package or sell that as a product in and of itself. And people will buy it. I have personally bought checklists myself. You know, packages of checklists myself because they are actually worth something. Now, if you actually, um, if you if you could just answer yourself this question, what sort of checklist would you actually create? Because it, yeah, it's a really important one to do. It's a really important question. If you could just leave a comment down below, that'd be awesome. Now, also too, 
uh, say for example you don't like the style you've got here or you don't say for example you have like this one's quite short and you think oh I would like to add another couple of points onto this how do I do that well quite easily you click on the outside of this orange box and then you hit down and then all you need to do is highlight over one of the boxes you've got here so as it includes the text that the, the um, checkbox and then you right click or you can just hit control C and then you can just go control V or but the thing is what it'll do is it will give you this box with an outline now all you need to do is highlight over the top of this so as the whole thing is highlighted and this will automatically bring highlight this tab right here up all we have to do is click on that and go to where it says no borders and that is how you do that now another thing you can do if you don't like the looks of this and you or any of the ones that they offered and you'd like to create your own checklist very simply all you have to do is add the developer tab see this one right here into this section just here so all you need to do is create put that one right there now how do you do that quite simply you go over here to file scroll down to where you see options and then you go over here to where it says custom ribbon and you click on that and over here by default developer is not usually ticked so ordinarily you would not have this one ticked and so all you need to do is just tick that and hit OK and that would put this developer tab right there and then you click on the developer tab and that little icon right there is a checkbox just like that and to change the text box size all you have to do is highlight over the top of it go back to home go to the font size and you can change the size to whatever you want and of course you can make it fit the one they've got so what I'd do is I'd highlight over the letters so that's calorie body so I just go here highlight over the top of that go find calorie and then go there and now you have one that it's exactly the same so there you have it so that is all you need to do if you want to create your own so if you like this video please give us a like a thumbs up subscribe as well as press the bell icon so you can be notified of when i upload more videos and if you could leave a comment down below as to what type of checklist would you create all right thanks for watching and have a great day and bye for now